Hello and welcome in this celluloid skin tone tutorial. Today I want to show you how to get perfect skin tone using DaVinci Resolve. There is five steps to follow. 1. Celluloid LUT 2. Color grading 3. Modeling 4. Skin softening and sharpening 5. The final details. By using celluloid skin tone 3D LUTs, you are sure to keep rich skin details, but be careful to never overexpose any of the red, green or blue channels, otherwise you could make weird plastic skin tone feelings. Let's start with an example. First, you should select which 3D LUTs you do like for the color grade. Then, adjust the offset controls to change your exposure. Don't compress too much the highlight or the shadows. When you are happy with the overall feeling, you can do some color grading. Because on this example, the light is very soft and come from the front, the next step is to make some modeling by using power windows. Now you can use the celluloid skin tone preset to manage the skin textures. Import your preset, then right click on any preset and append on your node graph. You should adjust the qualifier to nicely select the skin tone without touching the leaves, the eyes, and soft select the highlights. Finally, to go further, you can soft and sharpen the leaves it's important to change the settings, especially the small textures granularity, to make the leaves sharp and the details really fine. You can also soft even more some part of the face by using power windows. And as I'm always doing a little bit, you can sharp the expressive part of the face. There is different technique to change and soft the texture of the skin in DaVinci Resolve. You can select the skin and blur only the red channel. Or you can select the skin and use the soft and sharpen tool, which is my favorite one and give accurate control on softening the big textures, but sharpening the small details. And the last technique is using the mid-tone details control. You can also combine those three techniques together to get the result you want. With DaVinci Resolve, you can also do basic skin retouching using the node sizing tool. For example, let's try to remove this little imperfection here. Let's first make a window and try it. Then move it on the right and now, let's use the node sizing tool to move it back on the left. Thank you for watching, I hope to see you soon in the next tutorial. And if you like this video, please feel free to share it.